Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel once again. My name is Brandon, I'm an acting and performance coach and this is another installment this week for Laura Fabian Fridays. Uh, again, I said it in another video, but things are a little different right now. Things are a little uneven. I will explain that in detail at another another time at a later date, I promise. But for now, I hope you guys will accept these three videos this week in lieu of the uh, normal one poll and, and one video that we normally get for Fabian on Fridays. I'm gonna do my best to uh, get back to that as soon as I can. And until then, I just hope that you guys will be patient with me and be gracious with me. Um, again, I will go into detail about that in the future. But hey, if you're watching this on YouTube and you got to hear all that rambling to my uh, Patreon people, thank you so much for being here. Please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, leave me a comment in the comment section down below. Check the description for my uh, social media links, including a link to the Patreon where you can react and, or sorry, not react, but where you can vote on uh, reactions just like this one and polls that we do every week for uh, Laura Fabian on Friday. If we can get enough people into any of the other artist tiers over there, we will also have polls for those as well. I've already done one reaction to a, a Pentatonix uh, song from a request over there. I would like to start doing polls. Just need some more involvement. Need more of the fans out there, more of the Pentaholics, more of whatever fan that you're a part of. I need more of you over there to help uh, to justify putting up polls so we can start getting more content of, uh, from the artists that you love. Uh, so, But until that happens right now, again, we're doing this for Fabian Fridays. Uh, uh, thank you once again to all my Fabian faithful over on Patreon. I really appreciate you. This is, I'm gonna, not gonna, I'm not gonna try. It's La Fabian and Margot, I think. A l'Olympia a a a a de Paris. A de Paris, maybe. Something, something like, something, I don't know. Tutsin Vas, Tutsin Vas, Vas, I never know when to or not to pronounce the S. Uh, something like that. Uh, thank you so much for being here. 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 Thank you so much I desperately want something on tape from her, if not a book, something. Her voice is lovely, and I'm only speaking right now because I cannot understand what she's saying. I'm not going to be able to, but um, beautiful speaking voice. I, I, you know, I've said it a million times. <clears throat> Look at Lara's face. I'm sorry, I have to stop it for just a second. I'm going to go back. You got to look at Lara's face when she's singing her lines here. Uh, she's following her. I don't know who this young lady is. I don't know if she's. Uh, I've seen her sing. I've seen Lara sing with contestants from from different shows and things. I've seen her sing with students, uh, but also other singers. I don't know anything about this young lady. But I'm watching Laura as she's starting to sing, and, and she's 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 in an encouraging way. She's sort of leading her or following along with her as she's going through uh, this song. And when she hit certain parts, you could just see it on Laura's face how much she how much pride and appreciation she took 
in that moment is beautiful. She's just a, a very gracious, very gracious um, uh, stage partner. So we're gonna take a look at that one more time. Watch her face. In just a minute here. Okay, a little nod. Right there, look at it. <laughs> lovely. like a safety net for her after the accident. Oh, I can't see your face. Okay. How Lara just dipped out. Very lovely. Beautifully done. I'm definitely getting like student or protege or whatever um, she so, she absolutely felt like the dynamic was that big beautiful smile congratulations that was wonderful That was beautiful. That was really great. Uh, I, I like seeing Laura on stage with with other artists. Uh, one thing I always I, I pick up on, or I tend to pick up on, I'm maybe not always correct, but it, what it seems like in this one particular was a sense of I don't know the the, the dynamics between Laura and her scene partner. She never feels like, from Laura's side anyway, it never feels like there's any kind of haughtiness. There's no there's no ego. There's no listen. This is my stage. You're a guest on it. That doesn't that never comes from Laura. Not even a little bitty bit. But what I often get from the other side is a sense of is it okay that I do this? I'm gonna move here if that's all right. I'm going to move here if that's all right. Like, I don't want to get in the way. I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to step out here if there's room. I get that sense of that the little bit of trepidation, that, that little bit of hesitancy from the people who share the stage with Laura often, um, especially when they're younger. Um, and that makes perfect sense. It really does. It, it does limit how, how accurately I feel like I can sort of gauge what kind of artist they are and, and, and what they have to offer. Because, I mean, obviously, if you're focused on that, then you're going to be a little limited uh, and a little less effective in your communication uh, because you're you're more focused on paying respect to the person you're on stage with you're more focused on not being offensive and by that I don't mean by offensive I simply mean that that you're not causing any offense that you're not stepping in any place you're not supposed to be you're not overstepping you're not getting too crazy with your riffs you're not being too big with your volume your your, your dynamics that you're falling in line where you're supposed to be uh, when you're the person on Lara's end of it usually there's more freedom or when you're even just more established there, there there's more freedom in your ability to express and emote and sing and vocalize because you know that you know you sort of paid your dues you've you've 
you've put in the time, you've earned the respect, and that whomever you're on stage with, you're on equal footing. It didn't feel like equal footing from her end. It felt like someone who was uh, subjugating themselves to another person in their field whom they greatly respect and admire. I see it a lot. That's all I'm trying to say. I'm rambling a little bit, but I do see that a lot with Lara. Again, never from her side. I never feel like she's putting, I've never once seen her on stage with another person and thought, wow, uh, she just put that person in their place or, or uh, you know, Lara didn't like that you did that. Never. I've seen people make huge mistakes when singing with Lara and she's always handling everything with the, the utmost level of grace and class and humility. And it's wonderful. She's a wonderful stage partner. Um, yeah, but that was Lara Fabian and Margot, I think. Um, à l'Olympia de Paris, maybe. And Soutien Va. I don't know if you pronounce the S. I don't know. Anyway, that was my poor attempt at French. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching it on YouTube, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. Leave a comment. Check uh, the description for Patreon, Discord, all the things, different ways to support the channel. To my uh, Patreon people, I love you guys. Thank you so much for being with me, for being faithful. I appreciate you being here. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's... Uh, I'm going to go on to another one. Get the third one recorded for you. Thank you so much. Uh, once again, let's uh, let's all remember to be kind to each other. Okay. And uh, most importantly, be kind to yourself.